Reverend O.S. Park has devoted himself to reach the youth all over the world to guide them to become the leaders of the next generation. His message has brought many people out of pain and darkness and into the lives of brightness and joy. Reverend O.S. Park says that the secret of the new strength and happy life that he teaches comes from the pathway of the heart he discovered in the Bible. After receiving the land from Zambian government for the mind education in 2016, he started the construction of IVF center in the same year and a fee agreement for youth education was signed with the government of Vietnam. Furthermore, since 2018, the IVF has been conducting mind education for drug addicts in Tegum City of Philippines as well as the victims of rebel groups in Colombia. In addition to such amazing activities, the inauguration ceremony for a three-year mind education program from 2019 to 21 for the government and education officials in the Ivory Coast was recently signed. Many presidents, prime ministers and government ministers are continually arranging meetings with Reverend O.S. Park to provide generous support for the Youth Empowerment Initiative. So far, Mind Education is being actively implemented via MOU agreements with 50 organizations in 95 countries around the world. Christian Leaders Fellowship has recently created a wind of change in the world of Christianity. Representatives, church pastors and various denominations including the presidents of Christian associations from the North and South America, Africa, Asia gathered to unite their focus on delivering the gospel based on the Bible only by going beyond the denominations and doctrinal terms. Through the CLF being held worldwide since 2017, more than 240,000 pastors have heard the gospel and are examining their spiritual life. The main speaker of the CLF, Rev. O.S. Park, warps up the hearts of the world Christian leaders and inspires them with the message, let's go back to the Bible, as he delivers his lectures. The CLF was held in Seoul, Korea, celebrating the 500th anniversary of Martin Luther's Reformation during the second half of 2017. Pastors from around the world cried, let's go back to Bible at the CLF Bible Seminar alongside Reverend Park in May 2018. With the participants over 500 representative bishops from around the world including Kenze author Ketonga, the representative of Kenyan Christian leaders, and Godfrieda, the Zambian Minister of Religious Affairs, the symposium was held with the theme, The True Gospel and Spiritual Life. Furthermore, the joint press conference of the Global Christian Leaders has caught the attention of the media as a result of these activities came the Global Bible Seminar preaching the gospel to 94 countries over 141 broadcasting stations to 800 million viewers. Pastors who called for reform and change in Christianity and its decline created a movement to only focus on the Bible and to unite our hearts with God and to preach only the Gospel. Now many Christian denominations of various countries are fully supporting and taking part in the ministry to preach the gospel alongside Reverend O.S. Park. Currently, Reverend O.S. Park has 67 publications consisting of Christian and my education literature with the purpose of manifesting the heart of God to people. Among them, his bestsellers, book titled How I Became Free From Sin, has sold over 1 million copies and was translated into 24 different languages. This book speaks on true repentance and the gospel which provides the forgiveness of sins to those who were once bound in sin. It also teaches about the true pastorship and a spiritual life freeing many people from theory and formality. Finally, it shows that the spiritual life is not of works but only by grace and faith.